box compound so in this particular video we'll discuss box compound okay so this is my short introduction you can go through it okay so box compound hota kya hai okay what is box compound right so when we are mixing the raw ingredients of cement and then allow it to get inter grinded and burnt okay then we get the box compound yes so we can say that is box compound are not the raw materials they are formed after the raw materials are mixed together so if i go for the formal definition agar hum iska formal definition dekhenge to kya ho jayega when the ingredients of cements are inter grinded and burnt they fuse with each other leading to formation of complex compounds known as what box compound known as what box compound so we'll see four main box compound which are formed in cement these are the four main box compound c3s that is tricalcium silicate you see tricalcium silicate then dicalcium silicate c2s then tricalcium aluminate yes and then tetracalcium four right tetracalcium alumino ferrite okay i will go through them in details and lot of questions are asked yes so first of all you should know their formula so when we are seeing this c this is calcium but actually it is calcium oxide that is actually what calcium oxide and when they writing this s silicate this is what sio2 yes sio2 okay so when i say tri calcium silicate tri means 3 okay it is not only calcium it is calcium oxide but we call this as tri calcium okay in that manner it is named and then silicate sio2 sio2 so tri calcium silicate then we have di calcium silicate this will be what 2 cao dot sio2 right then tri calcium aluminate so 3 cao yes then aluminate will be alumina actually so al2o3 the last one is tetra calcium so 4 cao then we have alumino so al2o3 then ferrite i will use fe2o3 so this i can say are the formulas right this i can say is the formulas you should be knowing how to write them from the name right and then we have their relative percentage and there we can say pet name or we can say the other name right so these are the various we can see the formula compound name and the quantity in which they are present in what your cement so first one as i told c3s is what 3 cao and sio2 it is known as alite yes then c2s is 2 cao sio2 belite then c3a is 3 cao al2o3 selite and then 4 cao al2o3 fe2o3 felite to aapko in sab ke naam yaad karne chahiye theek hai ye sare naam aapko puch sakte hain ye kya hai compound name hai aur ye iska formula hai all these are the formulas right so you have to remember all these things these things can be directly asked in the examination and i told you how to remember another tip i will give you see this is alite a and then light then belite and then selite and this is the felite now coming to that percentages you have to remember a range so for alite or you can say c3s it is the highest one you see 25 to 50% percent is the highest contributor sabse zyada yahi hota hai okay uske baad if you see c2s it is what 20 to 45% percent. yes second contributor we can say thoda kam c3s se thoda kam right so hum kar likhenge c3s sabse zyada hai then we have c2s yes then we have tri calcium aluminate okay 10 to 15 percent the least one is what your tetra calcium alumino ferrite so we can say ye jo order diya gaya ye kya hai ye uska decreasing order of contribution hai we can write like this so all these things they can ask you you should remember these things right okay now we'll see each of this compounds individually and their role in cement what is their role क्या कंट्रीब्यूट करते हैं इनका कंट्रीब्यूशन क्या है वो हम देखेंगे तो फर्स्ट वन इज द ट्राई कैल्सियम सिलिकेट एज आई टोल्ड सी थ्री एस नाउ दिस इज हैविंग द हाईएस्ट परसेंटेज 
and also it is a strength contributor. It is a strength contributor. So it is responsible for the initial gain of strength. Okay. So responsible for development of early strength of cement in the initial stages. So initial stages I will define 0 to 28 days. So initial 0 to 28 days, the strength is developed mainly due to what? C3S. Now C3S has a very high heat of hydration, around 500 joule per gram, and therefore C3S provides resistance against freezing and thawing. Okay, this point they can ask. Right? Let us go to the next one. But before that, the last point as I told, since it is 25 to 50 percent, it is responsible for the initial gain of strength. So I can say more is the quantity of C3S, more will be the strength of cement. But the common sense, zyada is ka strength contribution pehle 28 days mein hota hai, yes. And therefore, hum bol sakte hai ki, agar aapko strength badhana hai cement ka, to aapko C3S ki matra zyada rakhni hogi. Or I can say C3S amount should be little more, right? Okay. Let us go to the next one, that is what? Your C2S. Now C3S was responsible for the early strength and C2S is responsible for the development of strength in the later stages, baad mein. So later stages means what? After 28 days. After 28 days, whatever strength we get, that is due to C2S. Now the C2S has very low heat of hydration, in fact the lowest heat of hydration around 260 joule per gram. If you compare with C3S, it was 500. It is only 260, yes, almost half I can say. And then C2S also provides resistance to chemical attack, yes. So there are the points to remember for what? C2S. Now coming to your C3A, now C3A is very reactive. It reacts with water very fast, yes. It reacts with water very fast and therefore it is responsible for the flash set, the initial fast setting of cement, yes? When you add water with cement, after some time you see what? The cement sets, right? So that initial, we can say, fast setting is due to what? The reaction of C3A with water, yes? And therefore, as it mentioned, the reaction of C3A is what is very quick and led to immediate stiffening of a paste known as what? Flash set. So flash set is due to what? C3A. And C3 has the highest heat of hydration. 820 joule per gram. Now, what is this heat of hydration you might be thinking? Yes, heat of hydration kya hai? What is this heat of hydration? This heat of hydration is the um, heat released, is the heat released when this constituents of cement react with what? It react with water. So when they react with water, the reaction hota hai, yes, when the reaction hota hai, kiske beech mein? Ye constituents for water ke beech mein, to aapka jo heat release hota hai, wo kya hai? Heat of hydration. And your C3 has very high heat of hydration, in fact, the highest one. Yes. And also, it makes the cement more prone to sulfate attack by formation of what? Calcium aluminum sulfate. What is this? The C3A, if you have some sulfur in your cement, then they react with this and they form this calcium aluminum cement, uh, sulfate. What's the problem with this? It has very high expansive quality, high expansion. So when something expands a lot, what will happen? It will lead to cracks in the cement. It will lead to what? Cracks in the cement in the later stages. Yes. So therefore, C3A is responsible for what? For sulfate attack. Yes. So you should be careful about the amount of C3A you use. Yes. The last one, C4AF. Okay. It has a very less contribution and strength uh, and also many things. It's less contribution. Yes. Okay. But it has a good amount of heat of hydrogen. This one, how much? 420 joule per gram. Yes, so we saw four uh, box compound and their uh, properties also we saw, right? And also we saw their percentage and their names. Now, in examination, they might ask you some objectives. So let us discuss those objectives, right? Let us discuss those objectives. So if I'm asking you, if I'm asking you the descending order, if I ask you the descending order of content percentage of the four box compound, descending order means what? From largest to the smallest. Largest contributor is what? C3S, the highest contribution is C3S. Then we have C2S, percentage wise, composition wise. And then you can say C3A. And the last one is what? C4AF, the minimum one. We can say this is how much? From 25 to almost 50%. Yes, the highest contributor. Then C2S is how much? It is 20 to 45%, right? Then C3S is 10 to 15%. 
and then C4AF is 6 to 10 percent. So you can see that this is the decreasing order or descending order of their relative contribution or you can say the composition percentage, right? The next thing they ask is what? The strength contribution, which is providing more strength, which is providing more strength. Now remember that the strength contribution has the similar trend as what? the composition. So the highest strength is provided by whom? C3S, then C2S, and then C3A, and at the end what? C4AF. So this is the descending order of what? Strength contribution, which contributes more strength to cement. Now this can be asked in the examination, right? Direct question. Next one is your heat of hydration. Heat of hydration may, if we descending, dekhenge, means decreasing if you see, if we descending, dekhenge, or we can say that, you know, decreasing, Yes, the highest one is which one? C3A, yes, C3A has the highest heat of hydration. Then followed by what? C3S, then followed by what? C4AF, and the least one is C2S. This you should remember, yes? See, highest heat of hydration, C3A, almost 820, C3S, 500, then C4AF, 420, and C2S is almost how much? 260 joule per gram, right? So these are the heat of hydration, and they can ask the descending order of this. Now, they might ask you also the rate of hydration. Now, rate of hydration is slightly different. How? You see, if I see the heat of hydration, see, rate is how fast it is hydrating, how fast it is getting. Heat of hydration, how much heat is released. So heat of hydration, we have first... C3A, then C3S, then your C4AF, okay, and last C2S. Now what happens when I'm comparing the rate of hydration in descending order, what happens? What happens? The C4AF, it actually reacts very fast. The rate of hydration is very fast. So you just take it to the front. Okay, just take it to the front. Since C4AF has the highest rate of hydration, then C3A, yes, then C3S, and then what? C2S. So I can say C2S has both rate of hydration and heat of hydration, the minimum, right? Minimum, right? But when I'm seeing the heat of hydration, C4AF is somewhere here, and rate of hydration, it is the highest. And this thing you should remember. Yes? So I can say there are four objective questions, right? You can see here four objective questions. The like first one is the content-wise, content descending. I have discussed the descending. In the examination, they can ask what? Ascending, yes. The reverse, yes, then strength, strength contribution, then the heat of hydration, last one is the rate of hydration. Let us see some more objective questions, okay? Now see this objective questions. The constituent compound in Portland cement, which reacts immediately with water and also sets earliest, earliest, what was that? For flash set, which was, was responsible? Yes, you can write in the comment section. Okay, you can write in the comment section. Yes, what is the answer? Tell me, tell me what is the answer? The answer is yes, it is tricalcium aluminate, C3A. Yes, it is responsible for what? The flash set. Let us see the next question. The next question, the compound which is largely responsible for initial setting and early gain of strength. So you have to remember the keywords, early gain of strength in the ordinary Portland cement. Please write the answer in the comment section. I will wait for you. <laughs> yes. Now many students might be thinking it is C3S or C3A. There's confusion, right? There's confusion between C3A and C3S. What's the right answer? The right answer is C3S. How? How C3S? Because they have mentioned early gain of strength. You see, the C3A is responsible for initial fast setting, but it has no contribution in the early gain strength. But C3S, early gain strength also, and then the initial setting also. Okay, the next question. The cement generally increase in strength during the period of 14 to 20 days. In cement, the gain of strength in the period of 14 to 28 days, sorry, 20, 14 to 28 days is primarily due to which one? Yes, due to which one? 14 to 28 days. Write the answer in the comment section. 14 to 28 days. Write the answer in the comment section. Yes, it is what? It is C3 S only. It is C3S only. If you remember, C3S is responsible for 0 to 28 days. So 14 to 28 days lies in that period only, right? 
whereas C two S was after twenty eight days, right? After twenty eight days. Very good. Let's go to the next question. The next question is hydration of which compound is responsible for increase in strength in the later stage. So very straightforward question. And the answer is what? Your C two S. Answer is what? C two S. So this was the discussion of your box compound. Yes, we discussed many things, right? Both side discussion ki hamne numeric uh, objective bhi solve kiye. Okay, and this is a very important portion which they can ask in the gate examination. So please study this and go to the examination. Thank you very much. See you in some other video. Bye bye.